Welcome to Sun's Corner. We're in part two of the uh, survival series. Um, I'm day number four in the quarantine. I'm on my boat in Salt Spring Island. Uh, I just had a few patents I like to throw by you. Like I said uh, on the last one, you know, little survival techniques like making coffee because we know the world will end completely if people couldn't make coffee. So I contributed uh, a really wicked patent, the sunscreen there. And, uh, of course, the, uh, for laundry, the sock, uh, machine there, the, the, the sun jug. Well, I have a couple more I'm going to show you because, first of all, we got to stop carnivorous virus from spreading to our body parts. And I call it carnivorous, uh, virus because, first of all, it's an insult to beer, Corona, because I like Corona. I'm Canadian and we love beer and it's kind of insulting to name such a bad thing after beer because we know for a fact nothing bad ever happens from beer anyway i'll show you my uh some of my techniques about how to keep carnivorous virus off of your feet and uh how to keep your feet clean and if you're family and you have a family or a girlfriend or a few people with you under quarantine and not everybody has a sun jug, then this is another option for you. This is this is called the sun bags. And what they are essentially are a couple of specially engineered bags. Um, they only come in one color. I apologize. Um, it's just the way it is because it we like it to reflect the heat so you don't freeze your feet. And anyway, you put in couple cups of water a little bit of soap and you tie these around up you know near your knees and you just walk around you walk around your quarantine space all day long and it's optional you, you can wear your socks or bare feet it's optional um, some people like to go bare feet because it really gets into their their pores personally but uh, I think it's the opposite way if you wear your socks, then the water and the movement from the socks kind of, you know, grind everything down. So, yeah. And uh, they work great. They're going to be on sale in no time. And I'll show you another invention here in a second. Just let me uh, just get ready for this. Okay, welcome back. Um, yeah, I have another patent because I know for a fact that PPEs are they're just scarce right now so we got to be innovative we got to start coming up with our own protective personal protective gear right so I invented this one just out of necessity and it works really good um, I'll show you what it is it's my it's my mask it's called the Sun Mask 2000 you can see the Sun Mask 2000 and and uh, you know, it's it's actually works really good because, see, I got the special sock there. The sock had been through the sun jug twice. And other than alcohol and ashes, nothing is more sterile after two hours of shaking. So these, it's, it's a special system and it blocks any carnivorous virus from getting in. So... I'm going to put this on. I'm going to show you guys how it works. Okay, guys. This is how it works. You just kind of stuff it in like this. And there you go. I'm protected. Okay. Here we are. Um, back going to do another test here. I'm going to show you... Well, not test. I'm going to show you why it's important to wear personal protective equipment from carnivorous virus. Carnivorous virus likes to invade the body. It really likes the hands. It just loves the hands. It, so if you're going to touch your junk because you're going to go pee, well, that's not good. So I have a new invention. It's, it actually works really well. 
called the, the sun stick and you see there's a fork down there on the bottom it's adjustable so what you do is you you know you hold your junk up you kind of fit it with the fork and the nice soft padding and you do your business and that way you're not contracting uh, carnivorous virus to other parts of your body and now like I said my feet are contained and pretty much carnivorous virus won't enter anywhere in me right, right now because it's just I'm protected and even though I'm in isolation carnivorous virus will fly through the sky and like enter parts of your body without your consent so yeah just want to let you know be safe I have one more uh, and a patent coming up just give me a minute to get it ready okay so this is my other patent um, I know it's vital to not spread that's why I'm in isolation because I don't want to spread the virus if I've got it on my hands or my junk or maybe I touch my ear um, it doesn't matter I know that I don't want to give it to nobody so this other patent that I've got guarantees I will not give even if I was sick right now with the with the virus carnivorous virus I if I chose to really not give it to anybody because I know that the ambulance would want to come see me and and take me away even though that they have their protective equipment I don't trust their personal protective equipment I trust mine uh, these are heavy-duty patents here we've worked really hard at this so anyway I'm going to show you this last one it only has two parts to it the sun bag as you guys have seen earlier right genetically not genetically but it's 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 modified from rubber tires anyway I, and there's a special cord that comes with it and actually this cord can also be used uh, to plug in phones it's got a USB port but I'll show you how this works it's actually a pretty simple device and it guarantees not to spread the the virus uh, because you know the gloves the booties the uh, the vest may not work so this is how we do this one so you put the bag over your head like this every er, they all come with instructions like I said but there's only one color right and you take this cord and uh, here yeah and you just wrap it around your neck like this it's actually really simple and you do a tight really tight knot one that won't be able to come out And just like this, I am preventing the spreading of the carnivorous virus. Yeah, I think I'm getting a buzz.